my name is Kellyn and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to paint a Minecraft cube. Well, mini one. You may know me already if you're new here because I've been painting these Minecraft cubes over on my TikTok since about October, I think. And you may even recognize them from Instagram Reels because I've started posting on there too. I actually saw someone else do this over on TikTok to begin with and then that's how that started. But when I started, I actually started by doing these little cubes. So this is a little chest. But now I have evolved and I'm doing creepers and I've done the ender dragon. But today I'm going to be showing you how to do a simple grass block from Minecraft. So most Minecraft cubes are 16 by 16 pixels but today I'm going to be simplifying the design and we're going to do an 8 by 8 pixel grass block. You are absolutely welcome to do a 16 by 16 cube if you like but they take so long so I decided to just do an 8 by 8 cube today just as an example and then you guys can make it more complex if you like. So let's begin! So let's start with the things you're gonna need. The first item you're gonna need are these little wooden cubes. These are two centimeter wooden block cubes. I think you can get them on eBay and Amazon. You can also get bigger ones or smaller ones if you like, but these are the ones that we're gonna be working with today and their measurements. I think you can buy most of these cubes in multi-packs of like 20 or 30, but we're only gonna be using one today. The next thing you're gonna need is a paint palette. I'm gonna be using this tear-off palette, but you can use anything you have just to mix paint. You're also gonna need a ruler. It doesn't have to be as big as this one because obviously the cubes are quite small. I say this is quite essential because we have a few measurements to do, but any ruler will do. Next up, you're gonna need a pencil. Yay! Once again, you can use any pencil. This is just a HB pencil, but I'm gonna be using a mechanical pencil today. I love mechanical pencils because they have the rubber inbuilt and they're just super precise. Next up, you're gonna need some paintbrushes. So I recommend getting the smallest paintbrushes you can get your hands on. You can pretty much get these at most craft stores and you're also gonna need one larger paintbrush for the beginning of the project. To go with your paintbrushes, you're also gonna need some acrylic paints. I'm gonna be using Arteza acrylic paints today. Luckily, we only need four colors for this project so I recommend using black, green, white and brown. And finally you're going to need a reference image. All you need to do to find these images is type in Minecraft cube 8x8 pixels on Google Images. It's not easy to find every Minecraft cube in 8x8 pixels so I end up making them up most of the time. But anyway let's begin. So to start this project you're going to want to grab your wooden cube and you're also going to want to grab your white acrylic paint and large paintbrush and just start painting the paint all over the cube. I recommend doing one side at a time and letting them dry in between. I like to do this step because I often find that the colored paints absorb into the wood and this acts like a protective layer between your colored paints and the wood. Once you're done it should look something like this. Wow. So next up we're gonna mark our grid onto the cube. You're gonna need a pencil and a ruler for this and you're gonna want to start by marking the five millimeter mark then the centimeter mark and then the 1.5 millimeter mark. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing okay in this bit because it's really hard to explain. So then you're gonna want to mark in between all of those markings. These are 2.5 millimeter markings on the ruler. At this point you've got the start of your grid and then you you're gonna wanna drag these lines down the face of the cube until you've got lines all the way down from those The points. more precise you can be with these lines, the easier the painting process will be. It is time consuming, but it's definitely worth you it. You should then have something that looks a little bit like this, and then you're gonna wanna flip your cube 90 degrees, add those markings once again, and then you're gonna wanna pull them down the face of the cube once again, and then you should have a grid. Once you've reached this point, you're gonna have to repeat those same steps on every other face of the cube until you have something that looks a little bit like this. So once you've reached this point, it's finally time to start painting. Yay! The best bit. We're going to start with the grass. So you're going to want to grab your green paint. I ended up using the same green paint and mixing three different shades. You're then going to want to grab your template and we're going to mark off the first color that we're going to do, which is the darkest green. You can absolutely skip this step if you want, but I quite like to mark off on my grid with a little X which color I'm working on at a time because it's so much easier to keep track. <laughs> I decided to start with the darkest green working towards the lightest green. So as you can see, I'm just looking at my reference and coloring in the squares that match the darkest you can just take your time over this bit. Don't worry about it. If you make any mistakes, it's no big deal. No one will be able to tell if you put the wrong color in the wrong square. And if you go over a square, you could easily just clean it up with the next green or the next brown. So I just finished up my first color, which was the dark green. You're then going to want to repeat the same steps three more times for the dark green paint. You're going to want to leave the top of the cube blank as well as the bottom of the cube blank because these have a slightly different design. It's quite hard to explain, but where you see the green right now, that's what you want to repeat on the left-hand side, the right-hand side, and the this back. Is very very time consuming, but it's so worth it because the result is going to be amazing. Once you finish coloring all the dark green squares, you're then able to move on to the next color. I basically repeated the same steps. I marked off on my grid what color I was going to be doing next so I could keep track. And I started with the medium green and then I did the lighter green. I work on one face at a time and then I do the other faces after that. And then I have a completed section. So Yay! 
Sweet. Next up, we're going to move on to paint the top of the cube, which is like the top of the grass block. Once again, you can look up a reference for this, but I'm actually just going to be making it up because it's super simple and you can't really mess You're it up. You're just going to want to use the same three greens that you used before and place them around, starting with darker colors, and then you can move on to the medium colors and then the lighter greens. The only thing I'd really recommend is try not to use too many dark greens for this top bit because it can look a bit aggressive. So I spent some time on this and eventually it was done. Yay, it's looking really good. So if you guys want to use mine as a reference, here it is. As you can see, there's a little bit more than three shades of green here because I'm hopeless and I didn't pre-mix my colors. But if you're doing this, you can just stick to your three greens and they'll look really good too. And finally, we're going to move on to the brown bit of the block, which is the dirt. So I went ahead and grabbed my brown paint. You're going to want to grab yours too. Once again, I marked off my pixels. I started with medium browns this time and I marked those off just so I could keep track of what colors I was doing. So I started by doing the medium browns, as I mentioned, and then I moved on to do the darker browns, which was such a nice color. And then finally, I finished up by doing the lighter browns and the little grays that appear in the dirt. I recommend between each color marking off on your template because it really helps me keep track. But after a lot of work, eventually we made it to this point. The cube is almost done, but as you can see, we do still have a bare bottom. <laughs> so you can go ahead and do a similar thing that we did on the top, but using browns on the bop 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 Apparently, I can't speak. Bottom. But I decided to just do dark brown all across the bottom because it's mostly going to be hidden anyway. And here is the completed cube. I am so happy with it. I hope you guys were able to follow along okay and my instructions were clear. A lot of this you're able to make up yourself. The more practice you get, the easier it will become as well. I think the hardest part, in my opinion, is making the grid. But with more practice, you'll be able to make more complex designs like these guys. You can make mobs like the mushroom cow. I adore this one. But if you guys want more Minecraft tutorials, let me know because I love doing them. So here is my cube. I think it turned out super, super cute. I hope you guys were able to follow along okay, and I hope I included all the materials that you needed. But if you guys have gone ahead and made one of these yourselves, make sure to tag me on Instagram, because I'll be sharing those on my Instagram story over the next few days. My Instagram is down in the description box below, and it's here. But I adore these, and I'm so glad you guys are enjoying the series over on Instagram and TikTok, because I love making them. They are super time consuming, especially the more complex ones, but they are so fun, and I love my little collection. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys are new here, it would mean the world if you could like and subscribe, because it really helps me out. You can also check out all my other socials down below. You can check out my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter, my TikTok, and my Twitch. I always forget that one. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next Friday at 5. Bye!